Good morning, Philippines. Well, I told you so, and you didn't listen. Some dumbass American just got shot in Cebu. It's all a buzz all over the internet. Everybody's running around with their hair on fire saying that uh, uh, the Philippines is unsafe and questioning uh, why uh, someone with a an illegal gun could be offended enough uh, to shoot some guy who's blocking his way. Um, yeah, I saw the video, wasn't impressed because number one, you were in a nightclub, alcohol's involved. Number two, involves pride in women. Number three, you're a young prick who knew it all and uh, weren't gonna take any advice from anybody. Now some some uh, of the uh, trolls and morons that uh, chase after me uh, claim that I'm some kind of tough guy uh, or pretend that I'm some kind of tough guy. Exactly the opposite. And that's what my advice has been all along. Stop being such a tall poppy, as the British expat would say, and settle down. Now, if you're out fishing for women, <laughs> it's a risky fight. And... Uh, Standing in front of some guy's car, arrogantly, uh, isn't a good idea, no matter where you are in the world. But yeah, they're young, uh, heads are flaring, testosterone's cranked up, and nobody listens to my advice of walking away, or run away. No, he went after the guy and he got shot. So is it safe in the philippines certainly for a retired expat who isn't cruising the bars i mean if you're one of the guys who are still at your age uh, going from bar to bar you get what you you're looking for if you're looking for trouble it'll find you for sure so you know don't be casting this virgins on the philippines it's a paradise to those of us who try to adapt and accept and assimilate but for the rest of you who are coming here trying to prove a point, we'll see you in the mud yard. Now, <clears throat> there's another point that uh, I wanted to talk about too, is bullying here on the internet. You're gonna get a lot of that, and I've fought the bully all my life, and I'll just quietly and patiently carry on the way I always have. Um, there is a comment made by uh, the man in the ivory tower who's a subscriber. You'll catch this when you come along. You had to ask the question and let me answer it. You were wondering why the British expat, his subscriber count's gone up, even though his viewers haven't. And I'll tell you why. Because you're feeding it to him. People see the way you and Mick and the, and the rest of you uh, pariahs go after him. And all he's been doing is stating it. Uh, a fact that some Americans are friggin jerks and some are and a lot of Americans would agree with me but don't take it upon yourself that you are the sole representative of all Americans in the Philippines and you must defend your country at all costs and everyone at all costs when you proved that you're not fair and impartial when you threatened to ban me off your live streams but leave no consequence to the guy bearing false witness against me I used the M word on your podcast, to which I apologize. It may have got that one demonetized. But the fact is, you made no inquiry as to what Mick said. Eh, oh, sorry, I didn't want to mention his name. He's the M word. Um, yeah, I, I made a comment. I reamed him a new asshole and uh, spent maybe five minutes doing it. And he had to spend the next six days in his basement pumping out videos trying to attack me uh, and my lovely hair. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, if you're looking for trouble, it'll find you. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. So uh, don't be uh, don't be going on about the Philippines for that. You wear this one, America. And uh, I've repeatedly pointed this out to uh, other Americans who agree with me, that there's a lot of arrogance being thrown around. Like, yeah, you're top dog in the world. And, but... I've also said, and on your show, uh, Mike, that uh, the Americans are some of the kindest, most charitable people on the planet. Unfortunately, you got a mix of both. It's 
kind of like getting the Muslims to get control of their own uh, people. Uh, the Imams can't do it. There's no head of the church like like the Church of Rome, the Catholics. So everybody's going out and doing their own thing. And so it is with Americans. There's good and the bad in all of us, but it just seems to be exaggerated more. So, again, I'll remind you guys, you kids out there, uh, young and old, if you see trouble going your way, get, out, get the hell out of the way. Don't stand in front of the car and challenge the guy. Don't look for trouble or it's going to find you. But uh, the highest death rate amongst uh, men is generally between 18 to 25 anyway, so you can pretty much expect that. That's why they host wars, so you can all kill the weaker ones off. Okay, so <clears throat> obviously the coffee's kicked in. I'm really jabbering away here. If you enjoyed any of this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, uh, maybe I should do a video on the the gang of six. No, I don't know. I shouldn't waste my time on it. I don't want to go down the, into the weeds, as Paul says. I should stay away from it all. Anyway, <clears throat> triggered. Have a good one. Bye.